Hey people on the I'm Nostalgic Dave and welcome back to Trilogy's Notes. So, uh, John, you want to come out and play? No? Okay. Well, uh, why don't we slide the painting under the door? Pushing the painting under the door, okay? Just give it back when you're finished. How dare you, sir? You intrude on my hospitality and insult my judgment. That's father. Get out of my house, you worm. I'd better see what's the matter. Whoa, whoa, oh, oh, okay. Look out of the box and it just bugs. Okay, open door. Father? Oh, it's you. Father, what happened? I heard shouting. That old fool told me some rubbish about my figurine. Said the only tribe it could have come from all died in slavery. Actually had the nerve to accuse me of buying from a forger. I'm sorry, Father. What are you apologizing for? Where's that damn brandy? I've got it here. Give it to me. Well, I'll go back to my room, Father. Show me your painting. Father? You said you had a painting. Show it to me. I... I can't, Father. And why not? Because... because... Come on, why not? Out with it. Because... I gave it to the boy behind the door. Let's see. Father? Go back to your room, boy. I have to write in my diary entry. Yes, Father. An hour of silence passed and Matthew grew concerned about his father. Strangely, the most disturbing thing had been Sir Roderick's reaction to Matthew mentioning the boy behind the door. In the past, raising this had usually provoked a violent rage or an instant flat denial. Matthew wondered what sort of anxiety was going through his father's mind. Smash! What was that? Father, what are you doing? Uh oh. <laughs> and the apron's gone! What? John got out. I'm just gonna assume. Look, I'm gonna peek through the door. I see you, John. O o oin, oin. <laughs> Open <laughs> door. Matthew was confused by his own reluctance. He had longed to see what was beyond this door his entire life, but now, given the chance, he was struck with fear. He peered cautiously through and saw a set of rough stone steps leading down to some kind of basement. Okay, it's this event. Right. Kills the kid. God, the movie grabbing part of your creation. Father, what are you doing? Do you see what you've done? I didn't want him to see this. Do you see what you've done? Father, no! Father! Father! <laughs> Apologies, dear boy, but I couldn't resist. <laughs> oh, screw you! <laughs> you look so lost in the painting. What? I... What? Is everything alright, Terry? Y yes, everything's... everything's fine. I just... for a moment there, I thought I saw... <sighs> Never mind. Seobon and I were talking about you after you ran off. 
I said you seemed like something was making you terribly anxious. Frankly, I think that's still the case. I'm okay. Really, I am. Well, if you're sure. I was certain my mind was not playing tricks on me. I had been back there in Defoe Manor, looking through the eyes of Matthew Defoe. I had seen the events that had created John Defoe. I saw his death at the hands of Sir Roderick, that terrible violent end that would bring him back as that awful wraith. But somehow seeing that event, it was clear to me that there was more to this than the ghost of one retarded youth. There had been something very wrong about that idol, even before it was used to destroy John Defoe. A name stood out in my memory, the Sea Angel, the name of the ship of which Sir Roderick had found that figurine, and now had a lead. Professor, do you know anything about a ship called the Sea Angel? You know, it's funny you should mention that name. There's a really old wooden chisel among the Defoe Manor artifacts, and the words Sea Angel are carved in the handle. Where is the chisel? Out on display in the convention hall next to the dining room. What's all this about, Terry? It's something. It's just a little side project my clients want me to get on. Thank you for your help. No problem. Take care of yourself. Okay. Uh. There's a paper underneath the painting. I want it. Take paper. It was a page from a religious book I wasn't familiar with. I here enclose it with these notes. Victim 5. The Child. The fifth man who desired judgment was the child, whose father held the carving of the slave. The prince came to him and was at once rightly pleased with what he found, for the house of the child and his father already knew well the name of the king. And as the prince watched, the child was thrown down by his father and broken with the wood of the prince's soul. But as the child's boy, as, as the child's boy, the child has a child, apparently. <laughs> Ugh. As the child's body, mind, and soul began to drift apart, the prince held them together, and he said, You are the child, wow, and you have a son. Shh, don't tell anyone. I'm just kidding. You are the child, and to you I grant power, for I see in you the potential that will grant my father, the king, his greatest wish. You shall be not of the land of technology, nor of the realm of magic, but of both, and thus you shall form the bridge. So I guess technically he has a son, in a way. The bridge is his son, <laughs> I guess. And across the bridge, the king shall come to bring the message to the men of technology. Through you, child, the bridge will come, and thus I name you the bridge keeper. So... Does that mean in Five Days a Stranger what we saw wasn't the child, it was the king? Maybe. I don't know. And the prince touched the child, and he was the bridge keeper, and his three aspects were granted power, so that his soul would join with the prince's soul in the wood of the tree. And the oh my gosh, it's like reading a freaking long historical book that I don't want to read, <laughs> but I have to anyway. Uh, is it over yet? 
And the bridge keeper rose up and threw down his father and threw down his brother, and truly did they know the name of the king. And into the house of his father went the body and the mind of the bridge keeper. Well, okay then. That was something. Uh, what is on here? Look. Day. Ta oh my gosh. Whenever there's supposed to be a P, I don't put a P. Whenever there's not supposed to be a P, I must have a P. <laughs> <laughs> That's why my bushes are all yellow, okay? <laughs> the reception desk was a cheap pine affair and unadorned with papers or materials. Someone appeared to have left a matchbox on the desktop. Just the box? Take match box. Only one match left. I took it anyway. Take match out of match box. I doubt that I could have taken that with me. So you just took the box. Smooth. Real smooth, dude. Uh, is there anything I could do in here? Open. Door. It's just an empty room. Open door. There's nothing in there of interest. Say that much. Open door. Well, nothing of interest in here. <laughs> Wait, no. Depop. Open Depop. No, that ain't Depop. That's B Pop. I want Depop. <laughs> okay, fine. Take. Pill. I took another pill. Huh? What was that place? That must be Six Days of Skeptic, because that's the or Skeptic, I just mixed two of them. I think that was Six Days of Sacrifice, actually, as seen from that one. However, I'm not positive about that. Open, open. I can't, jeez. Open door. I, I'm just waiting for the other realm to come back. Or we could just be stuck in this room. That works too. Use lock pick on uh, of door. Use the lock pick of the door on door. Oh my god. Use lock pick on odor. <laughs> Ugh! <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. To the door! <laughs> How do you not understand the word sue? Fine. Use. <laughs> My lord. Lock. Pick. On. Door. I had encountered far stronger locks in my time. I picked it open with 10 minutes. Okay. Open. Door. Well, now we're in this realm. Open door.
And I'm going to guess I'm in the realm of the king now. Where's the king himself? I'm going to guess the king is Chizo. I honestly have no idea. Priest or prisoner, acolyte or slave? Well, someone's doing construction outside. Wait. It's jam shit. Never mind. Hi! <laughs> I didn't understand the word hi. Wow. Are you sure you're not the one who's retarded? Knock. Oh my lord. Knock on door. The situation had reached the point, I felt, when politeness could be done away with. Okay, barge in! <laughs> Screw politeness, I'm just gonna barge in! Open door. The door was. Okay, so these are all shut tight. Hold on. I think I might actually need to open a safe that's not, you know, demented. Because that's like the only thing I haven't done yet that I can think of right now. Open door. Odor. For why? Open the odor. We want to smell all of it. Okay. Take pill. Took another pill. Open door. Okay, we're back to reality now. Open door. Open safe. I hadn't had cause to crack safes for some time, but my hands instantly went into aut automatic, the thieving mindset returning like an old friend. When the job was done and the safe opened, my nostalgia faded into puzzlement when I found it empty. There's nothing in there? That's... Just for once, I'd like to crack a safe that actually contains something. Okay. Well, I missed that piece of dialogue. Hopefully it was nothing. John! Hi? Uh-oh. Hi. Well, alright. I mean, I thought I already killed you, but hey. There's gotta be a... Break down door. I prefer to be violence for the last resort. Yeah, well, I mean, that's... You don't exactly have much of a choice. Open door. It appeared to be locked, probably by a deadbolt on the other side. There, now break it down. Break down door. How are you supposed to get in? If it's deadbolted from the other side, there's no way you can lockpick it. And I can't seem to freaking... Well, the only way I can imagine we'd be able to get in would be is if you... If you guys had seen the last episodes at all. Or the last episode, this is the second episode. Blah. Anyway, if you had seen the last episode, you would know that this door in the other realm actually has boards over it, but... Ugh, wrong thing again. Good lord. That's the one I meant to push. I don't have something that can help me at all. I don't have, like, a... Not a wrench, uh... A monkey wrench, actually, I think. I don't know. Point is, I don't have the tools to actually open it. Open door. The kitchen doors refuse to open. That's a little weird. Okay, let's go in here. Okay, so now we've seen images from 
Five Days of Stranger and Six Days of Sacrifice. Unless that's later on in this game, then it's like, ew. But I'm pretty sure that's Six Days of Sacrifice. A sacrifice. door. I had no business breaking into a room with someone I didn't know. Hi. Open door. Do not give when pushed. I saw no direct means of opening it. That's a little weird. Did I just walk into purgatory or something? We're back here again. Cool. Ooh. What is this, a body? I actually can't remember. It was stuck firmly to the wall. And besides, I didn't want to carry that around. Bring her back. Who is her? I know I've asked this before, but seriously, who is her? I think when you get lost, this is what happens. Because I have no idea where to go. <sighs> Take. Pill. Took another pill. I'm gonna be drugged by the end of all this. open door. The door was locked. Okay. Open door. The door was locked. Alright, am I gonna have to unlock all these darn little doors? Use lock pick on door. I know business breaking into a room of someone I didn't know. So what do I do? I honestly have no idea. I might actually have to look this up. Something I've been trying to avoid the whole time, but... And there's nothing really around I can use. I'm lost. Again. I always get lost in these. I don't know why. Gonna hear nothingness for a moment. Plain open uh, window. Uh, let's see. Trollies. No, I can't spell right now. Trollies. Newts. Okay. Okay, let's see. You guys can't see this, but I'm re I'm reading a little walkthrough that just up to the point where I am right now. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, okay. I figured it out. Well, actually, someone else did, and I just cheated slightly. I'm a cheater, okay? Cheaters cheat. <laughs> okay, so what I'm supposed to do is I'm supposed to... Uh, Go to the first floor area where the f why? What would the point of this be? Are we trying to pretend like we're burning down a building or something? So my original theory was right. We're supposed to use the matchbox. However, I never would have assumed it was on this thing. Okay, you use. Match box on alarm. 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 I should probably be more specific. Look, I guess. What am I calling this thing? To the majority of the rooms in the Colin Berman Hotel, warmly and pleasantly. Okay, that doesn't help. Just use match box. Well, what is the thing called? Am I stupid? Well, I mean, yes, but... Okay. Use match box on, he oh gosh, heat, heat, sensor, should probably be, okay, light match, oh, okay. well that was the prince. Did I just open door? I pushed my way through the door and descended the fire escape. Whoa, hello. Well, this is something. But I actually am gonna leave this video here. We'll, uh,. Progress somewhere <laughs> in the next video. Yeah, I am gonna leave this on here. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Uh, if you liked it, press that like button and sub you can't see it anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. Got any suggestions for me? Just let me know in the comments below. Uh, question I'm going to ask really quick, just because I'm gonna try to start doing this. Um, if How would you feel at this point? Would you just try to leave if you could, or would you, out of curiosity, keep going? Uh, let me know in the comments below. And if you want to check out any of the footage I've done in the past, or I'm currently working on now, click the box down over there. Or if you want to check out the rest of this playlist, just click the box that's across from my head over there. Anytime. I'm out, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!